guys so today I'm going to go back to school shopping now I am probably not gonna do too much clothing shopping just because I have a bunch of clothes that I'm still trying to get rid of um, because I'm redoing my whole room actually and I just have clothes and clothes and clothes that I just don't wear anymore or my style is changing or evolving or I just don't want anymore so I need to thrift all of that and donate all of that so clothing wise I will probably most likely I made up my mind that I am going to thrift most of my clothes and go vintage shopping and I usually do clothing shopping online so I'm not going to go into an actual store and buy actual things but I will still give a going back to college a clothing haul combined with going back to college school supplies um, so we'll see that although my school supply stuff won't be that much either because I'm going for physical therapy so I don't know how much school supplies I will need Wow I got through that sentence without stumbling on my words that means I got a little bit more of a good night's sleep I'm still tired and I, I messed it up I messed it up I'm trying to be hyper see now that I noticed that I didn't oh my words now I can't talk okay I'm just gonna go okay here's the clean haul bye go see um oh my god i forgot how did i forget? oh never mind <laughs> go back uh we are waiting to go see a movie that i've been wanting to see ever since i heard it was gonna come out it is called stories to tell in the dark now while we wait for that i decided to do the go going back to college clothing haul while he snores and sleeps Okay, let's start. Okay. First things first. Yes, I found the pack of all three of the series of scary stories to tell in the dark um, at Urban Outfitters. I think it was like, yeah, it's 20 bucks at Urban. This is not necessary. I don't really need this for school like actually needed for school but it will be cool for when I'm waiting for my classes to start or um, just to kill time <laughs> it comes with all three of them I already have the first one so this is the second copy uh, I mean the second copy I have two of the first one and now I have the complete set I found it at Urban and I had to get it and in light of us watching the movie today it's just perfect so I'm definitely going to be keeping these in my backpack which come okay anyways speaking of my backpack I got, I am going to use a kitty backpack that I got from yesstyle.com, but while that one gets dirty and needs to be washed, I'm going to swap it out for this one. For a long time, I've been avoiding on actually getting this backpack because it's become so popular and everyone has it that it kind of turns me off. But I saw this color and I couldn't resist I bought our Urban Outfitters for 80 bucks, so this is gonna be my new school backpack. Next, I saw these pants from Dickies, which I love. I remember, I think it was, was it middle school? It might have been middle school. 
or was it high school? No, it was middle school. When I was going through, was it? I was like a punk rocker in seventh grade, and I used to wear Dickies a lot because that was a style of a punk rocker. So I saw these, and I saw them in a green color, and it kind of takes me back to middle school. But these are straight legs. Next! Oh, I got that at Active. I should be, I'm like the worst. Anyways, I got those dicky pants at um, Active. Um, I also got this uh, crop top long sleeve for the fall. I thought this was really cute. The print kind of reminds me of something that you would see on like a Harley Davidson shirt. And anything Harley Davidson style sure is my style so I really like this one I'm definitely gonna be wearing that a lot because it's not like a tight fitting crop top it's a little more loose fitting and don't make fun of me but I did get Birkenstocks I was gonna get like the thicker typical version ones but I got the thinner strap ones I just thought they were cuter and they look less bulky um and yeah i got them in the mocha color the girl said that these were an investment so i saw the price they were pretty expensive but she says they do last long so hopefully i will get good use in those because let's be real i get lazy and i don't even want to fully put on my shoes like i have put them on and then walk out the door and he could testify for that but he's sleeping so he won't so, anyways, that's basically it. I think I showed this in the last vlog. I did get this necklace from Madewell. Um, on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I got these bracelets that are really cute. You can't see because the lighting is so bad. See, oh, there you go. These bracelets. Um, the brown bracelet is actually a cute little story i didn't know of it until after i bought this brown bracelet right here this brown bracelet actually helps stop human trafficking so part of the proceeds goes to that and i got that at hobby lobby and this bracelet right here i also got at hobby lobby and yeah that's about it i don't have my actual back to school school supplies with me because i literally just bought all of these stuff um but i will have the i will put that next after this video yeah that's about it hope you like this video and goodbye Hey guys, so for my supplies for back to school, all I really got was jelly pens, even though I know I'm not going to use it in college, but I thought they were super cute, and that was about it. I didn't really get much, but I hope you like this video anyways. Hit that like button, hit that bell button, and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!